Hey everybody, this is Fabian Anlichter and welcome to this video. Another video about the Traffic Millionaire Summit which took place in London. And in this video I want to tell you more about the Q&A session that was held up on stage with Mike Dillard and Shakir Hussein. So Mike Dillard, if you don't know him, is also called the 50 million dollar man. I'm going to show you a picture right now. That's Mike Diller and myself. And Mike is actually the founder of the Magnetic Sponsoring. He also wrote the book, which is the same name. And he also is the founder of the Elevation Group. And with both companies, he has made over $50 million within a few years only. So this guy really knows how the online business works. <coughs> And actually, the, the Q&A session that took place was more or less only people from the audience could ask their questions and they would be answered by Mike. So, he didn't have actually a presentation. It was a two-hour session where all of us could bomb him with questions about internet marketing, about sales funnel, whatever we wanted to ask. And in this video, I want to make a short summary of some good findings that I had, so some good points that he mentioned about uh, online marketing in general. And by the way, <laughs> what I wanted to show you is this picture here. Can you see that? This is a one billion dollar bill. So isn't that nice? Actually, we got this from another speaker. It was Tom Beal, but. Uh, just remember that I wanted to show you this as well. So this is a nice one million billion dollar bill that I have now at home on my temp table right under the monitor where I can see it each and every day. So let's get back to Mike Dillard's Q&A session. <clears throat> so one thing that he said in the beginning is that you have to build a team around you. It it won't be possible to do everything alone. Even though if you start out with uh, internet marketing, you want to learn as much as possible and also to do as much as possible because you might not have the money yet to outsource. But he says sooner or later, you definitely need to have a team around you who can do some work that you are not able to do or you don't have time for. And what you also said, it's important that you work on a business and not in a business because the skills actually are different and if you are working in a business you're probably working for your boss and make your boss rich instead of making yourself rich then the next one that he said is that actually every good offer will work for about 12 to 24 months and then you have to have a new product also change your front end every two months because sooner or later it will dry out and if you want to create a new product you have to start with a gap or with a problem that most of the people have do the research around this problem find out what people are looking for and what they are willing to pay for and then present the solution for them and you also need to have a plan on what you want to reach and how you want to reach your goals so planning and preparation of creating a new product is really important you better spend a little bit more of the time so you have an exact plan on how to do it and that will definitely give you more success <coughs> so also we are talking a lot about about of uh, credibility in this business so People know names like, of course, Shakir Hussein or Mike Dillard or people like Frank Kern, Ryan Dice, they are all really famous. But what if you are a newbie and you start out and you want to sell maybe your own product or you are an affiliate and want to sell a product? How can you get credibility that other people actually believe in you and buy from you? So one thing that he said is to become credible, you have to teach. So what he says is what you can do is actually you start reading a book 
and then you make a summary of the book and you make a video or you teach other people about the most important findings that you had. Another thing that you can do is you interview specialists. You interview one of the top earners of any company and then you publish your interview either on YouTube or on your Facebook group, on your Facebook page, on your blog, wherever you want to. But you have to get in front of your list or your fans and actually show them that you are doing interviews with the specialists and you have the connection to them. Then there was one interesting question. Somebody asked him what he would do if he would have to start from scratch with no list and only a few hundred dollars to start online. So the thing that he said is actually he would join a company like Moab. Moab is actually a high ticket selling company. They have quite a lot of mastermind products where you can get really high commissions. So he would join a company like that. Then he would invest some money for Facebook ads, Google or Bing ads. Then he would call his prospects. So people are on the list. He would call them and talk to them. And then from the commissions that he makes, he would reinvest most of the money to get even more traffic and leverage the whole thing. Then we were also talking about how to approach the key people. So what I said before is try to have an interview with them, write something about them, whatever. But the question came up, how can you approach those people? So there were some very interesting points that he mentioned. One is send over testimonial. So... For example, what you have learned from them, or if you have bought a product, <coughs> what did you learn out of this product, or if you have seen these people on stage, um, what did they, what did they, um, hmm, how should I say, what did you learn out of the of the speech up on stage or how did they reach you so just write a good testimonial about them and send it over what else you can also do is if they buy a product uh, sell a product and you can be an affiliate register as an affiliate and do a hardcore promotion and try to get up on the commission report as high as possible and the people then will recognize you they will even they will even call you from themselves because they want to know who you are another thing is that you hear from a lot of marketers you just approach them and tell them that you would pay into a charity in their name and they should just give you their most most important or their favorite charity and you would do that for them and normally they just contact you back and say you don't have to pay but uh, let's do this interview or whatever you want to do then you could also offer some money for an interview so if you really know that you want to have an interview with one of those famous marketers and you know that you will have some profit out of it offer them some money it will definitely be worth it and what I mentioned before, if you are an affiliate, buy all the products or the programs that I offer, learn them, teach them to others and make testimonials and then contact the creators again. Then he was also sharing <coughs> excuse me, some strategies that made someone buy his offer immediately. So actually cold traffic. One thing that always works on the sales page is uh, scarcity but one important thing that he said you need to follow through so if you mention on your sales page that this offer is only valid for the next three days you better have it only valid for the next three days don't say you get a 25% discount for the next three days and then after 10 days you still have this 25% discount there that is not good so whatever you say as a scarcity follow through that another thing which is also really nice of course what you all know is the, actually the 30 day or 60 day money back guarantee what else you could do is you give a double money back guarantee so they don't have any way to lose except the time to try it 
So that would also be a thing to try. Then what else you could do is um, you just mention that the next five people who take immediate action and join his team or buy his product or whatever would get an additional $25 back if they would not like it just for wasting their time. So if they want to have a refund, give them the refund plus an additional $25. That would also work a lot. Another thing is that you could offer to ship a free book as a bonus. So if you are a fan of uh, one of those famous books, maybe from Tony Robbins or <coughs> anything else, maybe also about internet marketing and you have some copies at home, you could also offer to ship this for free. He just mentioned that you need to think outside of the box and have nice ideas. So if you just sit down and uh, have a look what other people offer and then maybe you make a combination or you come, you come up with some own ideas, just put a really nice idea or an offer or a bonus together to get more sales. Then also the question came up, um, if you have scarcity on your page, but you intend to have the page up for a longer time. So as I said in the example maybe before, um, this offer is only valid for three days, but after three days this, the site is still up. What you could do is you work with cookies. So the first time somebody comes to your page, you have a text like, welcome, the first time on our site, get an immediate 25% discount only today. So if they come back, and visit the site the second time, the cookie will realize this and you don't have your 25% uh, discount on the page anymore, but you might have <coughs> excuse me, something else like maybe 15% or you add an additional bonus, so you still get the sale because you have a great offer there. Then regarding sales funnels, what he said is that uh, you actually need two to three upsells to make decent money in a sales funnel. The best thing that you can have is actually a membership site. So he mentioned to start with a, a low price product, which is in the front end, then have a mid price and then a high end product, which is between 197 to 397 dollars. And if you have also a membership site, a good thing is that you offer a $1 trial for the first seven days and when the seven days are over, then you immediately offer a one-time payment for the whole year, which is a little bit cheaper than 12 times the monthly price and also add a 30-day money-back guarantee. So he said that this works really like gangbusters if you have a membership site. Then. If money starts to come in, especially if you are a beginner and money starts to come in, <coughs> what you can do or should do maybe get something you really wanted to thank yourself, to make yourself happy and see this system is really working. But then the rest of the money, use it to reinvest in even more traffic or have somebody else building you an upsell or another product, whatever. Just use most of the money that you earn to reinvest and leverage your business. And you also need to be willing to be super patient. So success doesn't come from today to tomorrow. It takes you a lot of effort. It definitely takes you a lot of time and work. These push button systems that are sold sold in the in the internet they do not exist the only push button traffic that you have is your email list but until you don't have uh, your own email list you have to work hard but it's definitely worth it so he said to make progress either you need to meet new people and connect to them or you need to get new information and the end what he said is then actually value time leverage equals wealth. So these are some of the most important points in the conversation of Mike Dealer together with Shakir Hussein on the stage at the Traffic Millionaire Summit in London. I hope you also got some good points out of it. 
you can use some of them and uh, put it in your business um, I'd be happy to hear your feedback just comment below the video tell me if you or what you liked especially about this and with that being said thanks a lot for watching looking forward for the next video see you next time and goodbye